Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please breathe upon us tonight. Teach us your word, Rabuni. Open up your scroll unto us. May we find secrets at your feet tonight. May we learn again of your ways. You said to us that unto us it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Thank you, Father, for tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. And so we'll be teaching on releasing possibilities. Last week we had like a foundational teaching on releasing possibility which worked embodiments of possibilities. Embodiments of possibilities. And we began to look at God's word to realize that we are packaged for possibilities. The Bible said in Ephesians 3, which was our emphasis last week, it said to this intent that unto principalities and power might be made known through the church the manifold wisdom of God. Unto principalities and powers might be made known through the church the manifold wisdom of God. And so we said to release possibilities. Number one, we hold God genuine honor. So in Malachi chapter 1, verse 6 to 8, he said, If God be, he said, If I be a father, then where is my what? Honor. Number two, we said, You hold God the willingness to illustrate your conviction and explore your faith. If you believe in God, you must be willing. To illustrate your conviction and explore your faith. Number three, we said we owe him absolute what? Commitment. God comes in everything we do. The Bible speaking in Matthew 6 33 that we should seek first the kingdom and every other thing shall be what? So when it comes to the dealings of our affairs in life, kingdom and God comes what? First. Are we together? Number four, we'll begin from there tonight. We owe him a lifestyle of risk. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. An angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and said to her, Who shall be conceived of a child? You see, it's not as if Mary was the only virgin in Israel at that point in time. Are we together? But not everyone has the capacity to receive such kind of word. Do you understand that? Not everyone is willing to risk their life, to risk their reputation in a bid to obey and follow God. And that's what the angel just came to. Imagine somebody just appearing to someone. I say you shall be conceived of a child from nowhere. And she says, How shall this thing be? And he replied in verse 37, he said, With God, nothing is what impossible. With God, say it after me, with God, nothing is impossible. He didn't say some things with God, nothing is impossible. And so, if we believe this statement, then we owe God a lifestyle of what? Risk. We must be quick to obey his instruction and be willing to take steps into unfamiliar realms. Do you know what it is to tell a man to leave his father's house and go to a place without a name? And yet he obeyed God. Because every word spoken of God carries it the capacity to perform. Every word spoken of God carries the capacity to what? To perform itself. Are we together? We must be ready, ready to what? To risk our reputation. To risk our logic. Because sometimes some of the things he might say to you might not make sense. That's why in the natural realm, they will look like impossibilities. But if you have graduated to a ranking man in the spirit to operate in the realm of God, you know there is nothing called impossibility in that realm. 
Do we understand that? So whatever he says to you, even when you can't understand it, we believe forward. We understand later. We what? We believe forward. We understand later. Be willing to live a life of risk. Quick obedience. Release is the highest amount of power. Delayed obedience short circuit God's power. If we believe that with God nothing is impossible, that's what will keep us strong in the place of prayer. We won't pray for one day without seeing answer and say, Maybe peradventure God cannot do this. No, that's what sustains enduring prayers because you believe in the ability of the one you are calling upon. Are we together? We hold him a lifestyle of risks. If you will produce possibilities in God, you must be ready to live. See, listen, nothing moves in an atmosphere of sympathy and mere unbelief nothing moves in an atmosphere for every man jesus saw in scripture he commended them for the expression of their faith he saw a woman one time that came to him called the sign of fish and woman i said to him master my daughter is vexed with devils jesus didn't pay attention to her and she cried out the more and he looked at her and said i can't give the children meat to the dogs and she replied him that even the dogs eat from the crumbs that falls from the master's table. The Bible says, and she bowed down and worshipped him. Instantly, Jesus said to her, I have not seen such a great faith in Israel. Every time men operate in dangerous dimensions of risk and operated in great faith, Jesus commended them for it. Do you know what it is to take a crippled man? For his friend holding him, pulling down a roof just to bring him down. The Bible says, When Jesus saw them, he said, What a great faith! Thy faith has made thee whole. That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 Without faith, it is impossible to please this God. Our greatest, his greatest displeasure is our doubt. That's why the most stupid prayer you can pray is if God wishes to heal him. There is no if in God. The Bible says in him is what? Yea and amen. Say, Lord, if you wish to change my life, you can change it. Nothing move in that kind of atmosphere. Be willing to express your faith and be quick to obey his instruction. Even when you don't what? Understand. That's where the greatest amount of power is what? Released. Are we together? Are we together? Pray this prayer where you are sitting. Say, Lord, increase my capacity for risk. Pray that prayer in one minute. Oh God, increase my capacity for risk. Shidago peke rizo ho sadaya. Increase our capacity for risks tonight with prayer, Father. Increase our capacity. Increase our capacity. That when we see impossible situations, we are ready to hold on to your word and take the risk. Faith is risking it all on God's word. In Jesus' name we pray. Faith is what? Risking it all on God's word. See, never you in your life say something is what? Impossible. Focus on God's ability, not on your ability. Never you say something is impossible. Look at his strength. Look at his ability and not yours. That's why the Bible said to us, um, Jesus said to us, he didn't say, when you see the sick, pray to me. No. He said, go heal the sick. <laughs> Are we together? Heal the sick. Why? In the command is the capacity to perform. Heal the sick. The Bible is speaking in Mark chapter 16 and verse 20. And they went 
after receiving his command and he walking with them confirming the words they spoke with signs following the bible says this sign come quickly one person come the bible says this sign shall follow them that what believe mark 16 18 this sign shall follow them that what believe this sign shall what follow them that what believe if something is following you where are you so you take the step to see the sign you don't see the sign to take the step the sign is follow as we stretch our hands upon the sick then the power is released in the command is the capacity to perform quick obedience listen imagine imagine abraham had delayed when god said to him look up and see behind you a ram caught in the ticket no let's not even get there imagine he had delayed in you know struggling with god to sacrifice isaac and in the calculation of god in his eternal will and eternal plan and purpose he had by that time manipulated a, a full and near man around that bush in mount moria to make one of his cow go astray so that that cow can be caught in a ticket and replace the son that was killed. and abraham delayed what will happen when he comes he will see a dead ram quick obedience releases the highest amount of power if you will walk with god successfully you must be willing to believe forward and understand later 90 percent of the things he has said to me never made sense i don't even understand them look at some of the testimonies is, is god wicked to tell you to what, what you think you need to survive the following week and god is saying give it and drop did you see the way he was multiplying them so if you had not dropped them wouldn't that money have been finished by now god never takes anything from you he only asks you to give so that he arranges your heart that you can receive what he wants to give are we together number five thank you John 3 27 releasing possibilities be willing to live a life of risk listen in the jungle the elephant is the biggest is that not so the giraffe is the tallest the fox is the smartest and the cheetah is the fastest yet the lion is still called the king of the jungle why a life of risk other animals we see an elephant and see the size what the lion see is the meat that's why i taught us when i thought about joining into the into my wealthy place the bible says, who for the joy that was set ahead of him had the ability to endure it carried in itself what he kept his focus on upon was an impactation of supernatural strength so if he focused on what will make him fearful it will impact that kind of strength on him are we together number five john 3 27 can i have that scripture he said and no man can have anything on earth except it be given to him from where from above so if i know this and i will possibilities then i must understand that I owe him exclusive right to everything I have. I owe him exclusive rights to everything I have. I see myself as a steward. So when he says, give me that thing, I don't struggle to think. Why? Because I know no man can receive anything except it be given to him from above the worst thing that happens that can happen to me right now is to struggle to give sometimes i say to my wife when god said do this i tell her i say in the first place who even gave me i beg who gave me 
I see myself as a steward. It's a testament. Even your offering is a testament of who truly holds that money. Give me Matthew 22, 17 to 22. The Pharisees and the Sadducees came to Jesus and his disciples and said to him, Master, should we pay tribute to Caesar? Because they wanted to test him. And he asked them, he said, Give me a currency. And why they brought the currency? He asked them a question. He said, Whose inscription, whose image is on it? And they say, Caesar. He said, Give to Caesar what is Caesar and give to God what is God so it means my giving ability increases naturally when I discern whose image is on my money whose hand is upon my finance I, I know it's not just by because I do that business other people are doing it too but I know whose image is on it are we together so I don't struggle to give I owe him exclusive rights to everything I have. He wants my time, I give it to him. That's how you release possibilities. That's how you release possibilities. Sometimes can decide to wake you in the middle of the night and say, Stand up, stand up quickly. I need to do this now. And you obey, brother, you don't know you have solved the problem of 50 years in the spiritual realm by that simple act of obedience I showed my wife something while we came into church a text message I received I spoke to someone two days ago and she was applying for a school the admission is closed so I told her I said when last did you check your portal she said there's nothing I said let's believe God for the impossible anything can happen they just sent me a text message of admission anything can happen are we together see one of the easiest way to develop your faith because if the bible says if your faith can be as small as a mustard seed and a seed what do you do with it you plant it to grow so it means you can exercise your faith to grow to a point and one of the easiest way to grow your faith is in the area of finance the bible says where the treasure of a man is his heart will be he didn't say where the heart goes his money will follow so if you want to be committed to his kingdom put your money there when it comes to giving exercise your faith do you know some of the crazy things i have done that doesn't make sense to a logical man so if i can trust him you know why it is difficult to exercise your faith in finance because that is the the, the expression of your sweat nothing depicts your labor on earth like your family this is what i worked for and then god is saying give it to me we've given so much that we can look at a sick body and say i command you to be healed the faith is intact not because it was developed from a sick body no but we've done some crazy things that have raised the faith eye to a point are we together number seven Number six, I owe him absolute trust. In the midst of uncertainty, I trust him. Knowing fully well that this God cannot mismanage my life. If I am confident that my life is in his hands, then I owe him what? Absolute trust. The peace of God is expressed in the midst of circumstances going the other way. What did I say? The peace of God is expressed in the midst of circumstances going what? The other way. When you say, oh God, I believe you nine years this semester. And you had EFCC. And you can still say, I trust you. I might not understand, but I know you what you are doing you can't mismanage my life i owe him absolute trust so in the midst of whatever circumstance 
you find yourself today or any time in your life look up to heaven and say oh god i trust you why because nothing takes you by surprise you cannot be defeated you cannot be confused i trust you i might not understand it now it might be so painful to my heart but i trust you that's how you see possibilities being released are we together number seven john 13 verse 3 to 6 jesus said everything i am he talked about his existence talked about who he was and immediately after doing that he called to peter peter come and then he said to him keep your feet i want to wash it <laughs> i want to what wash it and immediately he did that he released them to the city to go and begin to heal sick bodies why the greatest amount of power is released when we serve humanity so i owe him my proper i owe him and humanity my proper service that's how i know see when you understand he just finished explaining to them who he was are we following and yet what was the next thing he was washing their feet so through understanding of who god has made you to be makes your service proper you are not you don't care doing anything when it comes to god because you know it doesn't change who you are do you understand that i owe him and humanity my proper service number eight if i recognize that he is the doer of every good thing in my life i owe him my thanks always learn to say thank you life is a privilege anything anyone do for you is a privilege and not a right learn to say thank you i owe him my thanks if i believe is the doer of all this number nine mark chapter eight and verse four can i have that scripture the bible said to them jesus said to them after healing ten lepers he said go to the priest and pay the offering that is required for receiving such and let the priest confirm your healing are we together go to the priest so now I, if i see what he does in my life per time i owe him my testimonies that's why we don't see the continual of miracles in our life what did god benefit from all the things he has done from you for you what did he benefit from them mark chapter 5 and verse 20 mark 5 20 the bible says and after you the man that was possessed with legions of demons the man went to talk about him in decapolis 10 cities man became a disciple shouting about there is this man called jesus he made me whole. he changed my life for all he has done for you what have you done with it rise up to your feet quickly i owe him my what my testimonies one of the secrets to see crazy outbursts of testimonies and miracles in your life is to always testify to always testify always see <laughs> if god has nothing to benefit from a miracle he will do for you he won't do it are we together if he has nothing to benefit you know during the time of the late president Yardo, many people were complaining why didn't men of god go to pray for him somebody asked me because there was a particular man of god he asked to come and pray for him and the man said come to the church he said i'm a muslim i can't come the man said then i'm not coming and people were angry why didn't he go 
and I said, if you go in the middle of a night, like Nicodemus, and pray, what does God stand to benefit from that? What does God stand to benefit? But if he can in the midst of fire make sure that the three men are not born, then the king can stand himself and said, let no one serve any God in this city except the God of Daniel, Shadrach and Abednego. What does he stand to benefit? If you want to see possibilities, learn to testify. That's why you see sometimes in crusade the men of god will come and they will pray over the sick after preaching and then they'll say if you have a testimony come you will see only one person then they will bring the person to the front of the pulpit like this they will talk about that testimony they will shout and shout they will talk almost 15 20 minutes as they keep doing that you will see other testimonies coming out because the greek word for testimonies means do it again so as you share it you duplicate the anointing upon that atmosphere to produce itself are we together so if i want to continually see his goodness in my life i hold in my word testimonies i must testify of his goodness that's why you found you prayed for the first sick person the person got healed this is 10 years now nobody has got healed through your hands why you never gave god the glory you never told the world what he has done you are now wondering why the door was closed are we together you got your first miracle alert, you never shared it you have cried miracle alert. you brought your atm to church your phone even your laptop nothing has entered you are now wondering why the one he did did you testify are we together lift up your hands and pray to him Talk to him, talk to him. Say, Lord, from today I want to release possibilities. To release possibilities. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all that matter. You are all that matter. Room for two, you and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, oh, oh. You are all that matters. Lift up your hands and praise. Oh God, increase my capacity for risk. Oh God, increase my capacity for risk. Listen, listen. Imagine the many things that would have happened if only you dared to take risk on God. Imagine. Whatever you see from my life being produced today is born from a life of risk. I read the story where he, he admonished Thomas and said to him, You believe because but blessed are a people who is believe even without sin. He called them what? Blessed. And so sometimes it does not even arrange itself. But God said this, I believe him. Even in the dying minute, I know it's still possible. Are we together? The life of risk. 
the life of risk the life of risk can we pray that prayer tonight lord increase my capacity that's why i said to us last week if you will last in god learn to handle disappointments learn to become a master over it i have seen certain things that have given me enough of reason not to hold this mic again a lot of them suddenness where i felt i have believed god and he fell my hand i believed him he fell my hand <laughs> were you in the meeting i before i left the campus then the last impactation service we are in that service the anointing was so crazy on me i'm not you were not seeing anything no. you, there was a time i was preaching and i just made a reference i said do you know you can call down fire fire came out physically not in vision so you have not seen anything no this one we are doing now i used to say it has reduced it was crazy that is, the anointing was too much on me daddy if at the point i said give me your handkerchief give me anything you have lord release your anointing i threw them in the atmosphere and then getting home the next day they said your mom is lifeless and i was tempted the tears a woman that was like my life the tears were so much to have you know you want to say lord why all the scripture like david will say i have hidden his word in my heart that i may not sin against him all the scripture begins to jump out i don't understand what you have done if this is my reward for service for five years you saw me on this campus i carry church on my head i risked my life so much for the christian community in this campus to the point they almost expelled me out of the school every time you see me you see it there's someone in me warning me and after five years my reward that was three days after my final exam was to take my mom <laughs> I owe him a lifestyle of risk. I couldn't say anything. Confused. In fact, the next Sunday service I attended, and she died on Saturday. I came to church on Sunday. You were in that service. A young man was testifying because I preached a day before in the meeting. I immediately, like, the pulpit, I held the mic. Uh, I just entered into the realms of multiply vision. And I said, Over there, I'm seeing an angel touching a young man's heart. I didn't even pray i said i'm seeing the angel is there i can see see the angel and the young man came the next sunday morning nobody had known that he was dead and said i want to thank god why the man of god said that i was to be expelled from the school because after i did my history i had an enlarged heart so they said i can't complete my studies but after that meeting i went back. i was feeling when he was saying it something was happening there i went back the art is normal and my reply was to shed tears. Lord, do I ask him why? Are we together? But even when you don't understand, you trust him. In fact, the following week, I started preaching again. I go to meetings, I command lungs to disappear. They really jump out of people's body. I said, but Lord, what did you actually do? Why are you confusing me? Are we together? Can we pray tonight? Lord, increase my capacity for risk. Raise your voice and pray. In kaparasi kapala gabande shi dabara dabala dababa reto suka pande shi Shut up, 
Amen. Listen, like I said to us, if God lives in the inside of you, then there is possibilities in the inside of you already. The highest I can do tonight is to set it on fire. The problem there is most of you are repeating classes in the spirit. You went to pray for a family and you told them in 24 hours God we wrote a miracle. And this is seven days. No miracle is there. And you went to your room, you are crying. Oh God, where are you? God of Isaac Jacob. You are just God. Mark repeat class again. The University of God, there is no double promotion. Because every class is important to serve you a lesson. Why? Give me, give me Romans 5 and verse 2. He said, For the trial of your faith, walk at patience. Give me three. And then patience, what? Experience. God can call you as a fool, but he will not send you as a fool. God can call you untrained, but he will not send you untrained. He must build you up. So that you can get to a point like the three blue boys and say, even if the God we serve, we, that is the height of what the Bible realm of your most holy faith. A realm where you are looking for doubt around your life, you can't find it. That's what the Bible means by saying the holy faith. A point of zero doubt. Are we together? Increase your capacity to believe. Can we pray this one final prayer and say, Lord, help me to trust you. Help me to trust you. Help me, Lord, to trust Even when I don't understand, even when I see conflicting situations to your promises, conflicting circumstances to your prophecies, help me, oh God, to trust you. That I will not shortchange myself. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, stop re repeating classes in the spirit. I have trained myself to a point that I work very hard, but I never play strength or dependence on my effort. I can write a test and get zero over 40 and believe him crazily for me. Crazily. Not that I'll go back to the room and be crying. Say, oh God, where are you? I prayed and fasted for this test and I got zero. Is that your business? Have you not done your part? But you repeat class. Leave it and see and say, I still I, I don't understand this result, but I still trust you. And see how possibilities will be released. That's what I came to teach you tonight. That you stop short changing yourself in God. You owe him a lifestyle of risks. You owe him the, 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 the ability to illustrate your conviction and explore your faith. You owe him, his, owe him your trust. You must trust him. Trust him. Trust him. And if your, if your Christian experience is perfect, you will struggle with trust. If your Christian experience is perfect, if your Christian experience is correct, you won't struggle with trust. When you were, became born again, what did you say you were doing? You were giving your life to God. Now, that same person you said your life is mine is not. Say, do like this. Your, your life is with you. 
I don't know. I, I'm struggling. Sh should I obey or not? Should I obey? But you just said you gave your life to him. You can see you have collected it back. Now I told my sons, I said the problem with we as humans is that we are living sacrifice. We can walk out of the earth after the sacrifice of your car and say, come out again. Then when we go for another sacrifice or another um, meeting or conference, they come for that we sacrifice ourselves on the altar again. Are we together? Lift up your hands and pray. What is it that burdens your faith? Why did you come for this meeting? I want to pray over the people now. I want to prophesy over that situation, over that circumstances. But I want you to talk to God about it. You've seen myriads of miracles, myriads of testimonies here tonight. Speak to God about it. That he didn't do it last two weeks, that he didn't do it last week does not mean your testimony or your confession should change. No! Circumstances should not change your confession. Listen. Listen. Circumstances should not change your confession. Your confession should change circumstances. Yes. Circumstances should not change your what confession your confession should change circumstances because if circumstances change your confession then it is powerful than you that is what you have made your god i keep saying it till i see it i keep saying it are we together i keep saying it i know my redeemer leave it my life will not end like this irrespective of this current situation and circumstances his plans for me are good i will stand upon the citadel of this earth and be celebrated by the great irrespective of what i see keep saying it keep saying it are we together keep saying it keep saying it <laughs> Talk to God. Talk to Him. Came with, a, came with a hell challenge. There is a God that sits in heaven. we dig your magic keep In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God said to me, he said, son, I want to do wonders. That's what I hear him say. And you know, I won't tell you what he never said. Please, I want you to pray. Talk to him. And this is what you tell him. 
Say, Lord, between now and this time, I want to testify. Hey. Do this thing. Know that you are real. Do it. Let me know you are real, oh God. Hello. Watch the miracles after this meeting. Listen, listen. Before I forget, you will pray that prayer still, but before I forget, let me say what you saying to me. Between now and Friday, some people will go to their accounts and see money they never kept there. You know, I'm not a visiting pastor. I, I didn't come for a crusade, then I'll go. This is my base. So you will still together. You hear those kind of testimonies. They went, they, they saw money, they didn't know where it came from. That's what God said to me. Talk to God. Pray, 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 pray to Him. Those falling, falling in line. Talk to God wherever you are. Across the nations of the world, wherever it is, there is a portal open over this asmos. He said, Son, whatever they pray in my house today, I will do it for them. Lord, here I am. I have preached your word to your people. Manifest love upon their situation. Manifest yourself upon their circumstances. Manifest yourself upon their desire. Prove yourself. Prove yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Ushers, give me the communion, give me the all. I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You have a project, a business idea, long years, whatever it is. It, your family have a project, they are their own been stranded. I command the project to begin again. You will receive calls. And you will begin to hear good news. That house will be completed. That business will be started. That business will grow. That idea will come to fruition. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command every struggle to cease now. I cancel delay. 
I cancel the law. I nullify the pronouncement of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, whoever has spoken negatively over your life, over your family, over your finance, over your health, over your career, whatever they have said, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. Whoever has spoken and have prophesied delay, struggles, difficulty in your destiny path, I reverse it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I reverse it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I release miracles. I release miracles. For you, for your family, I release miracles. Hear me and hear me clearly. God said to me while I was praying for this meeting, I heard it very clearly. He said, Son, whatever they ask, I will do. It is in that confidence and in that word I came. Is in that confidence that's the last thing i did to this meeting in that confidence and in that word that i am saying to you whatever you have asked in this place whatever you have spoken to the ears of god may answers come for you 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 I decree miracle marriages be released. Miracle marriages be released. Miracle jobs be released. Miracle babies be released. Miracle promotions be released. In the name of Jesus, healings be released. Miracles be released. Works be released. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Rabbi diga bon zebeliki toka bayara ga digi digish. Aya God said, some of you you are scared. You might not graduate with your mates. Maybe you had a course or the other. Mark my word that you are in this service tonight. If there is a God that sits in the heavens, I decree may a miracle happen for you. 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 You desire a shift to your city, I command it to happen. In the name of Jesus. 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 You are sick in your bodies. I command you to be healed. I command your bodies to be healed. Your blood be healed. Your bones be healed. Your organs be healed. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare. Whatever is bedeviling this nation, banditry, terrorism, I have been praying for you and I'm still with your ears shall you hear them you will never fall a victim for your sake your families are preserved for your sake your families are preserved for your sake your families are preserved i put a mark of touch not upon you i put a mark of touch not upon you heaven's defense system around your life around your homes around your businesses around your family in the name of Jesus. Anyone that they have arranged accident for, they have arranged deaths for, they have arranged sicknesses for, they have arranged losses for, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, everyone. I just hear God said to me to pray about something. I am praying. Every pattern in your bloodline. 
a demonic addiction i decree everyone on whose head a generational cause is hanging for your sake whether you are representing your family watch what will happen within the next seven days i release the angels of war and fire right now anyone on whose head on whose bloodline i am speaking to bloodline tonight that a cause is hanging a demonic pronouncement is hanging i cancel it now by the blood of jesus i cancel it now by the blood of jesus let the cause be broken the cause is broken the cause is broken the cause is broken that pattern ends now 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 in the name of Jesus every demonic garment that has been placed upon you or any member of your bloodline I set it on fire now I set it on fire now garment of shame garment of rejection I set it on fire now I set it on fire now let the oil of favor come upon you let the oil of favor rest upon you everywhere you go you'll be likable 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 in the name of jesus lift up your hands and thank him it's done it's done your job is to believe my job is to pray his job is to perform just what will happen by the simple meeting we had here tonight watch how god will move and produce miracles in your life and in your family see you are leaving this meeting tonight you are trusting god for a job a family member as you are going begin to say it as they said jobs for you that job come that job come that womb open that marriage come by the power of the holy ghost any family here that is being tormented by any witch or wizard that you sat under the sound of my voice tonight i release the angels of god right now to go to your foundation go to your bloodline anyone tormenting your family let them strike dead anyone tormenting your life tormenting your family in the name of jesus within the next seven hours may the angels of god strike them dead may the angels of god strike them dead that strong man that strong woman that witch, that wizard that marine powers may the angels of god strike dead may the angels of god strike dead in the name of jesus 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 thank him thank him worship him lord i decree the communion is blessed i turn this to your blood and i turn this to your body in the name of jesus may it communicate your very life to your people in the name of jesus christ whatever they desire from you as they partake of the communion may it begin to happen right from this meeting in the name of jesus may no one under the sound of my voice be poor may no one under the sound of my voice be stranded in life may no one be confused may your hands not know dryness in the name of jesus christ may shame befall you in life in the name of jesus christ i declare and i declare under this grace you will not end up as an object of pity in life i decree you will not end up as an object of pity in life you will become the envy of your generation i bless you with the blessings of the lord i bless you with the blessings of the lord i bless you with the blessings of the lord whatever costs that have been placed upon your life i said i bless you the blessings of the lord i bless your family i bless your bloodline i bless your businesses i bless your academics 
I bless your finance. I bless your in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for tonight. Where's the all? Quickly, quickly. Turn it for me quickly. Whatever is an assault from the pit of hell, whatever is an assault from the pit of hell, I declare and I declare, as the oil comes upon you, it ends now. Yeah. While the service was about to begin, one of our sons just ran to me and he was attacked. His hand could not open. So him stand sitting here with me. I said, how? He said, just now, I can't open that hands again. But the reason the anointing comes in your life, everything I can do in God, duplicate them. Yeah. Every result, Lord Jesus, as you honor my voice and honor my words, but the reason of this oil upon their lives tonight, when they come to you, hear them. Yeah. Answer them from heaven in the name of Jesus Christ every demonic siege let it break and whatever does not reflect you in their life comes to an end in the name of jesus christ the lord bless and keep you the lord cause his face to shine upon you the lord be gracious to you the lord grant you his peace the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon